Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be creating a simple CAPTCHA system that will basically defer whether or not the person entering their information is human or a computer. So um, what we're going to be using today is PHP and uh, PHPGD which basically will create us images using PHP. So let's start off by uh, opening and closing the PHP tags here, just so we have some room to work with. And now to create the image, we're going to set a new variable called img for image, a shortcut, and we're going to use image create true color. And now set the size of it. Let's do 80 and 30, like this. And pretty much if we want to here, it's not going to do anything pretty, you know, blank. <laughs> and um, now from this point, <coughs> we're going to have to load colors in. So is what we're going to do, we're going to allocate them. So we're going to create a new variable called white and use a function called image color allocate. You want to use your reference, reference image and the RGB values, so 255, 255, 255. And let's just do that for a few more colors. Uh, 0, 0, 0. Let's do red. That's just 255, 0, 0. And let's go ahead and make a pink. Let's just randomly put some numbers in here. Okay that still won't change anything on this image because we're not actually outputting anything that can be seen so n the next thing we're going to do, we're going to fill this image so you choose image fill you reference image where you want it to start from on the x-axis and where you want it to start from on the y-axis and now what color you want the background to be so let's just use let's just use black for this one simple it's not going to do anything just yet but we can show you what it's going to be doing if we just add three lines of code oh I'm typing location all over the place you want to set the content type of this file to a PNG image or JPEG or GIF whichever you prefer and now you want to use a function called image PNG and you use your reference image there and then just by habit destroy the image I always want to destroy it wrong. And now we can just view what it looks like. We have a black image. Nothing on there yet. So now is what we're going to do. We're going to add some text here. So we're going to use um, a preloaded font that I have here. Calibri.ttf. If you don't have that, you could probably download it anywhere. So I'm... Um, we're going to use the function image ttf text your reference image now we just go through the thing the size of your font the angle where you want it to be placed on the x-axis let's uh... 15 and where you want it on the y-axis let's do 15 as well now the color you can do red or pink or white whichever we'll do white for now and now you want to load your font so calibri.ttf and now for your font or your text, just put in something in quotes. Now we refresh this, and you're going to see hello on there. It's white. We can make it red if you wanted to. And let's see if our pink worked. Yeah, it did. Okay. Simple as that. Now, um, let's change it back to white. Now, is what we want to do, instead of having hello in there as a constant, let's create um, a function that will randomly generate a string for us I, I made one beforehand and uh, I don't really feel like explaining it because it's not completely necessary for this this code will be completely available on my website phpsquad.net for download and usage of your own so it's basically what I'm doing here is I'm loading I just said I wouldn't I'll explain it, but anyways. So what I'm doing here is I'm loading some uh, text here. 
A through Z and 0 through 9. I'm not putting the 1 in there because it's confused with L. But because we don't have L or 1 in there, it's fine. And then basically it just goes on from there. And from here, length is how long you want the string to be. So let's go and replace it with hello. Let's do random string. Let's make it a random length of, let's say, 7 through 12. Save that and just go ahead and refresh this. Oh, it's because we have this. Alright, refresh. There we go. Just some random string there. Let's lower that to 10. Let's move it back a bit on the X. There we go. Let's move it back a little more, actually. Or we can just lower the size, you know? It's simple. Let's push this down. Very simple. And it's easy to read, pretty much. Unless you get a really longer one, so... You know, just mess around. You can do an angle if you want. You do 15. Put it on a 15 degree angle. It's going to look very weird, though, because it's harder to read. So just keep the angle at zero unless you really know what you're doing. Now, um... If you wanted to, you could like swap everything, make it a red background, black text, and just why not, let's create a gray. Uh, what, what colors look like? 150, 150, 150, that seems easy enough. And all you want to do is just copy this same line of text over here and just move it down about two. Push it over two and use gray instead of black. And what you should do, just so you keep it constant, you have random string rand seven through ten and just put it here. Same with this. Alright, and let's go see if a drop shadow would work on there. It's kind of uh, kind of annoying, so let's make the background white. Where's the image fill? See, now you can see the drop shot on there. Looks pretty neat, but it looks a little too far away, so... Just move that down one. There we go. See, now it like kind of stands out. So let's put the red back on there. Still a little hard to read, but you can always just increase the font size to like 11. Okay, yeah, that that seems easy enough. Okay, and uh, let's just get rid of the drop shadow. I'm just showing you how you can easily make one. Now, um, there's really nothing to do from here, but is what we could do is we can test it through a form. So is what I'm going to do. We're going to do a session on this. So I'll do session start on this. And then what I'm going to do here, and I'm going to create session string is equal to our string here. Very simple. Now let's create a new PHP document. And let's use our opening and closing PHP tags. And um, now we're just going to do an if statement, whether or not this... Uh, form has been submitted or not. So right now we're showing the form if it hasn't been submitted. So let's just go echo form method equals post action equals capture.php Now let's just create a simple table here. Type this out. And now Let's do this. Type the letters you see below into the box. Okay. And now here's the easy part. All you gotta do is make a use HTML to create an image out of this. Image source equals image.php. Simple. And before I forget, put your session start on the top here. Just gonna buffer it. Just so we don't run into errors in the future. 
And then let's create the input box. Input type equals text. Name equals image. Okay. Now let's just create the submit button. Input type equals submit. Name equals submit. You gotta remember that the name has to be submit or else it won't realize we're using that. And value equals check capture. Just go ahead and end the table in the form. And now in an else statement here, let's go ahead and create a new variable called image and that'll be related to post image. And now the simple checking is whether if image equals session string and if it does echo bold and great success if it doesn't echo failure in italics so let's go ahead and create call this capture.php and let's go ahead and go to that file Okay, see, so it's telling me to enter the letters in the box. All right, we have TPFR0WEZ. Check if it's right. Great success. Now let's ch check if it's wrong. Let's just do 63, whatever, failure. Simple as that to create a capture system for your website. If you wanted to go into some random depths, you can do this. Just create a nice random for thing. And let's just set it rand one through five, and just use this function image line reference image where you want it to start on the y or the x axis. So do rand five through eighty. Uh, let's just do five through seventy. Where you want it to start on the y axis. Let's do five through twenty. Where you want it to end rand five through seventy uh, plus five. And the same with the Y, plus 5. Now your color. So what I'll do for color here, I'll just do color equals rand 1, 2. If it equals 1, then it'll be pink. Else, it'll be white. Color. And now you can go ahead and see how that might affect it. Now it's just putting some random lines in there. Now, uh, you can just mess around with this, see if you have any fun with this. Change it here so it's more visible. Refresh. You can see the lines now. That can get annoying, so you might want to lower the colors. It's simple as that. Like I said, the code will be available at phpsquad.net. I will show you how to get that. phpsquad.net. You're going to want to go under source files. And then over right next to pagination source, you will find capture source. Simple as that. And I hope you enjoyed this PHP tutorial. And uh, if you did, please subscribe. Go ahead and uh, rate my videos. Comment on my videos. I'll try to respond as much as I can. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.